So, next topic po is Divide decimal numbers by power of 10, 100, and 1,000. So, ito po yung example. Thirty two and forty five hundred divided by ten. So napakadali po din ito. Susundin lang po natin yung wala pong mababago yung decimal point po niya kung saan po siya nakatapat. Doon din niyo po isusulat yung sa pinakasagot. Doon din niyo itatapat ang decimal number. Ayun po. 3 divided by 10 cannot be 32 divided by 10 is 3. 3 times 10, 30. 2 minus 0, 2. Bring down 4. So, may decimal point po siya. Kaya po yung sagot, lalagyan din natin ng decimal point. 24 divided by 10, 2. 2 times 10, 20 minus 4 minus 0 is 4 bring down 5 45 divided by 10 is 4 4 times 10 equals 40 minus 5 minus 0 is 5 kapag po ganyan na may remainder pa sa decimal mag a lang po tayo ng 0 sa dividend. Uh, bring down po natin yung 0. 50 divided by 10 equals 5. 5 times 10 equals 50. Now, minus 50 minus 50 is 0. So, ang atin pong sagot ay 3. And 245,000. So, kung gusto po natin ng shortcut method. So, ito po yung uh, mas madali kung talaga pong mauunawaan at matatandaan agad natin. So, 32... And, yung original po niya is 4,500 divided by 10. So, atin lang pong bibilangin yung 0 sa divisor. Kung ilan po yung 0 sa divisor, atin lang pong imumove ang decimal place to the left naman po. Yan, ganyan po. So, magiging, kita na po agad natin yung sagot dyan. Ang sagot po niya ay equal din po doon sa long method uh, 3 and 245,000 ganon din po siya wala pong pinag-iba so yan po yung sa short method or shortcut po next example po Ganon po, ganon po ulit. 32 and 4,500 divided by 100 naman po. 100. So, sabi ko po kung saan nakatapat yung decimal point sa dividend, ganon nyo din po itatapat sa answer. Ito po. Uh, 32 divided by 100, hindi po siya pwede. 324 divided by 100 is 3. 3 times 100 equals 300 minus 4 minus 0 is 4. 2 minus 0 is 2. Bring down 5. 245 divided by 100 equals 2. 2 times 100 equals 200 minus 5 minus 0 5 4 minus 0 4 
So dahil may desi meron pa pong natitirang remainder, mag-aad po tayo ng 0 sa dividend 0. Bring down 0. 450 divided by 100 equals 4. 4 times 100. 400 minus 0 minus 0. 0. 5 minus 0. 5. May remainder pa po siya. Add another 0. 0. Bring down. 500 divided by 100 equals 5. 5 times 100 equals 500. 500 minus 500 equals 0. So, yan po ang sagot niya. So, sa short method po na tinuro ko kung ilan po yung number of 0. Anibawa po ay 32 and 4500 divided by 100 kung ilan po ang number of zero ng divisor ganun din lang po natin siya i-move to the left 1, 2 so ganun din po ang sagot niya wala pong pinag-iba mas madali pa po last example po 32 and 4,500 divided by 1,000. So, ganun din po. Yung decimal point, itapat lang po natin doon. Uh, so, 32 divided by 1,000, di po pwede. 324 divided by 1,000, zero. 0 times 1,000, 0, minus 4, bring down 2, bring down 3, bring down 5. So, 3,245 divided by 1,000 equals 3. 3 times 1,000 equals 3,000. Minus 5 minus 0 equals 5, 4 minus 0 equals 4, 2 minus 0 equals 2, add, add 0, then bring down 0, 2450 divided by 1000 equals 2, 2 times 1000 equals 2000, minus 0 minus 0, 0, 5 minus 0, 5, 4 minus 0, 4. Add another 0. Then bring down 0. 4,500 4, divided by 1,000 equals 4. 4 times 1,000 is 4,000. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. 5 minus 0, 5. Add one more zero, then bring down zero again. 5,000 divided by 1,000 equals 5. 5 times 1,000 equals 5,000. Minus 5,000 minus 5,000 equals zero. So, this is the answer. So, sa short method po, 32 and 4,500 divided by 1,000. So, meron po tayong three zeros. So, move the decimal place to the right, uh, to the left, three places to the left. One, two, and three. So, it will become... So, katulad din po siya ng sagot ng long method. Ito po. So, wala pong pinag-iba. Mas madadalian po kayo sa short method kung matatandaan nyo po yung rule. So, yun lang po. Sana po ay malinaw kong naibahagi sa inyo ang topic sa mathematics week 7.
Thank you very much po and God bless.